Hi, Simon Kid subscriber. I'm Lita Judge, and I'm the author and illustrator of Flight School. This is my parrot Beatrix, and she's going to join us today as we do a draw along. I'm going to draw the main character, the penguin who wants to fly, and I hope you'll join me. Get a piece of paper and a pencil, and let's get started. So this little character, my penguin who wants to fly, is one of my favorite characters to draw. Usually when I start with a character, I start with a head. I like to draw the eyes first because I know if I can get my eyes right, things will work. And this little guy, he, he's a penguin that dreams of flying and I wanted to show that he was a dreamer and explorer and somebody who dreamed of doing something more than what a normal penguin would do. So I gave him some flight goggles. I thought that sometimes when you're painting a character, you want to give them a little something that tells you about that character. It says something more than this is just an ordinary penguin. And so the flight goggles help give me a chance to say exactly that. This is not just a normal penguin. This is a penguin that dreams of flying. So I'm gonna get those flight goggles drawn because if I can get those working, I know I can paint the rest of my penguin. And I'm gonna block those in. All right, and let's give him an eye. And I think he's having a good day. He's going to be excited. So I'm going to give him a big, bright, beautiful eye. And I'm leaving a little white there for a highlight because eyes are kind of, you know, the portals to people's soul and they have a lot of expression. And you want to make sure they look bright and cheery when you're drawing them. Okay, and since he's a penguin, he's got a little black head, which will contrast and make those little goggles stand out. All right, I think the head's working, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint his body. He's got little flipper wings and a big round belly and some feet. Notice when I first start drawing, I just block in really loose shapes. So I just block in that tummy and those wings really loosely. And then as if I like what they look like, I'll go back and start establishing them a little more strongly. Now, if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. You can erase. It's fine, you know, drawing is a little bit of putting something in and then deciding if you like it and changing your mind and it's okay to make mistakes and draw it again. And all right, I'm gonna make sure that that's nice and dark so that we know he's a little penguin. I'm gonna give him a little black on his back. All right, now this penguin, oh, I forgot an eye, didn't I? Remember to look at your drawing when you're working because sometimes you notice things that you, you didn't do right away and you can fix it, you can go back. Okay, so this penguin in this story, he dreams of flying and he has got a lot of birdie friends that help him. And so one of the things they did is they found some fishing line and they donated their feathers to him so that they could help him get off the ground. So I'm gonna put in those feathers in this drawing this is like the flight goggles. It tells you something about the character. If you just draw a penguin, then you're just drawing a normal penguin. But if you draw something with your penguin, it tells a story. And so I'm gonna put those feathers in. Okay, now he's gonna sit on the ground. I think he needs to be smiling a little more. All right, I think we're ready to put some color on this. I hope you have some color at home. You know, color pencils, markers, watercolors, Use anything you want. The color always makes a painting look fun and exciting. I'm just gonna color in really quickly. When you color, don't worry about, you know, getting in the lines perfectly. It's more important to have something that expresses a feeling. And so I like to paint really loose. You know, the important thing is to have fun. All right, let's give the feathers some color so that they pop out against the background. In this story, there's a flamingo and flamingos are pink. So I'm going to give him some pink feathers because one of his favorite friends in this story, the flamingo gives him lots of feathers. All right. And let's see, I guess penguins have kind of gray feet, don't they? So I'm not going to give um, color to his feet, but I think there needs to be more color in this story. So. I'm going to put a sky behind him. And remember, you can do anything you want. I hope that after we do this drawing together, 
You'll think about a character you have in your heart and draw that character. And, you know, maybe it's your pet dog or your cat, but don't just draw your dog, draw him doing something. Have him have a story and give him little details that tell the story. So there's my penguin. I hope you enjoyed drawing together. I wanted to share just a little bit of the flight school book and the penguin that I did for this story. You can see all the drawings I created for the book. I hope today, after you finish drawing, you'll think about the stories that you want to create from your, from your drawings. Thank you for joining me for Drawing with Lita Judge, and I look forward to next time. Thank you.